2020 will be a pivotal year for America and the world. The time to start positioning your business for expansion to America is now. United Brit Partnerships. Welcome everybody, my name is Conrad Negron, let's talk. A Negwood Studios production. Today we're here with the United Brit Partnership and the founders, Gordon Kelly, Rhonda Grande, welcome to the show. Thank you, Conrad. Hey, it's really exciting to hear that uh, companies overseas are having the ability now uh, to come to the United States and expand their business. How, how does it work, Gordon? It's really simple. Uh, my name is Gordon Kelly and uh, I've been very much involved in managing British companies affairs in the United States and we are now collaborating with businesses that want to expand and capture a part of this market. The big market? Yes, it's a large and it's very buoyant right now regardless of what you hear in the newspapers. Uh, it's very successful to move your business out here as long as you do it methodically mm -hmm. and you do a full analysis of what the competitive environment is like. Exactly. Well, Ron, with your experience in corporate America, that's exactly what it takes analyze it, find out how it works, get all the parts working together, and then how do you analyze these companies and say yes or no, come on. Oh, absolutely. We're, we're very focused and much experienced as far as analyzing uh, companies and what needs to be done to bring them over here with my corporate background, 30 plus years, gone through 10 mergers in the cable television industry. That was nothing but analyzation after analyzation and as we expanded and cable grew, we know what to look for in spreadsheets and P&Ls and whatever it's going to take to to expand to expand and bring that company over here and make the right decisions. Hey, we're here with United Brit Partnerships team member Richard DeRose. Richard, welcome to the show. Um, let's get right to it. Companies that are coming to the United States have a lot of other issues that the United Brit Partnerships takes care of for them from a variety of issues. What are the, the, the couple that are most uh, glaring? Well, workplace safety uh, is first and foremost. Of so course. when you look at uh, state and federal regulatory compliance, uh, that's one of the key components, obviously, in being successful and avoiding some of those expensive liability issues that unfortunately could happen due to a workplace injury or illness. Tell, tell us, in your experience, what companies sometimes forget to even think about. Well, from standing off firsthand is the fact that they have to have an injury and illness prevention program in place, right? That um, complies with all the regulatory issues they may be faced with based on the type of process that they have, mm -hmm. whether it be manufacturing, retail, um, or simply distribution. Uh, so those are the things that you have to consider when you look at developing a workplace injury and illness prevention abatement program. Well, all states at the federal and state, federal and state levels all change or oh. different all over the country. Absolutely. Every state has their own uh, version of their OSHA compliance uh, departments. Of course, the federal government oversees all of that. Uh, they set the national standards. And then each individual state, depending on the type of company that you are, uh, obviously have to adhere to those specific laws as well. We can help them, we can help them save a lot of money by coming to you, talking to the whole, all the team members. We put together a strategic team of guys that under, understand all this. United Brit Partnerships, I'm Conrad Negron, everybody stay tuned.